Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna do a little basic carb tuning, uh, specifically just getting the carb set up, uh, idle speed, and the four corner idle mixture adjustment. Gonna be doing that with a vacuum gauge and a tachometer, and then we're gonna compare it to a wideband O2 reading. Since I have uh, wide bands in the exhaust, we can compare it and see if one is better than the other. All right, before you bolt the carburetor on, I recommend equalizing both the primary and secondary throttle blades. Uh, you want just a tiny little bit of that idle transfer slot exposed on each one like that. And then when you do adjust the idle speed, adjust each one the same amount to get the desired speed. Uh, and then next you're gonna want to lightly bottom out each one of your idle mixture screws and then take them out one to one and a half turns. Then wanna start the engine up, let it warm up. That should get you in the ballpark of where it should be. And after you get it started up, then you can go from there with the adjustment you wanna do each screw the same amount if you turn one a quarter turn out or in you want to do them all a quarter turn until the highest manifold vacuum is achieved we go ahead and get this thing fired up. all right it looks like we're starting out around 550 to 600 rpm idle got an unsteady five to six inch of vacuum we're gonna try to clean it out just a little bit I wanted to mention. Also, you want to check your float levels in the carburetor. If you have the sight windows and an electric fuel pump, it makes it real easy. You can just turn the fuel pump on without the engine even running. Make sure that fuel is somewhere there in the middle of the sight glass. If you have the traditional little plugs, you just want to take them out. Just make sure a little bit of fuel is trickling out of the, the bowls. Uh, if you need to raise it, you loosen the jam, the little screw on top, and then you turn this clockwise, will raise the float level, and counterclockwise will lower the level. And also with the mixture screws, if you turn them in, that will lean it out. If you turn them back out counterclockwise, it will enrich the mixture. So once you have that all set up, it should have really good throttle response, good crisp off idle, you know, part throttle. Right guys, that's gonna about do it. Uh, this was just to show how effective a vacuum gauge can be at setting idle mixture. Uh, not saying that the dual wide band setup is not necessary because if you're trying to tune the carburetor for maximum drivability, fuel efficiency, or horsepower, it's definitely the way to go. Uh, but it does go to show you that the old school ways of doing something can be pretty, pretty good. So thanks everybody for watching. Talk to you later. 